we're the time zone junkies and we're hitchhiking from Turkey to Kyrgyzstan and we would like you to follow us on our journey. Last year we hitchhiked 23,000 kilometers from Thailand to Spain. This year we will visit five of our favorite countries from last year. We will travel through Turkey and Georgia, visit Armenia, a new country for us, travel through Azerbaijan where we will catch a boat to Kazakhstan, conquer the Kazakh steppe a second time before we reach our final destination, Kyrgyzstan, where we will watch the World Nomad Games in September. And if we have time and money, we would love to visit Uzbekistan and explore the east of Kazakhstan. See you guys on the road! In the last episode, we were in Georgia's most remote region, Tusheti. We went for a hike and explored both Shinako and Aparumalo and were blown away by the beauty around us. I turned 40 and we celebrated with dinner and cake under a beautifully starry sky. The next day, we hitchhiked back to Tbilisi to stay in an Airbnb again and really decide what our next step this journey would be. Good morning. Hello everybody. We have not spoken to you for, for quite a few days. How many nights have we slept here in an Airbnb again in Tbilisi? Uh, we've been here for five nights this time. Yes. We were going to buy a tent pole. Did we buy one? No, we didn't. Do you remember that we talked about buying flight tickets because we weren't sure if we wanted to cross the Kazakh steppe again? by hitchhiking. So we have bought a ticket but we're not going to tell you where to until later in the video so stay tuned for that. What we are going to do today though is that we're going to go to Baku. The original plan was to hitchhike but we're going to walk down to the train station now and see if they have overnight tickets on their train and we're actually going to take a train. We're going to see if they have tickets. You might wonder why we're not hitchhiking. We will get back to you about that as well later in this video. Let's go to the train station. Come with us. about the flight that we have bought and all that. Now we're gonna head back. We're trying to um, contact our Airbnb host here asking her if it's okay to stay in the flat throughout the day because the train doesn't leave until 8.30 tonight. That would be awesome. That way Alice can get some work done and pay for this train partly. And then we should be on our way. We will let you know later how things are going. Check in in a bit. Ciao. Yeah. And we're off. We are going to Baku. Yes, we're actually going to the train station. It's been many hours since we spoke to you. It is six o'clock, our train leaves at 8.30, so we've got plenty of time. We will see you on the train. Yes, we will. Yes, we will. See what the uh, second class sleeper looks like. Second class sleeper, and then second class, not second class, right. He's anyway. a douchebag, <laughs> isn't he? Anyway, yeah. let's go. Here we are on the train, guys. Do you want to check out our little cabin? Have a look. Here it is. I'm sleeping there and Alex is up there and there's an Iranian man and there's an Osiri guy not yet but later <laughs> yeah, you can't see them they're not hidden yeah, they're not All hidden right. away they are they're just not there at the moment it's pretty warm in here but they say they have aircon so we'll see how it goes we're gonna get past the Aziri immigration officers with our Armenian stamps yeah so we'll see what happens for you who don't know, there's an ongoing conflict between these two countries and they are not big fans of tourists with Armenian stamps. I don't know if you can hear me.
on the storm when we left uh, Georgia and then on the way into Azerbaijan and carrying on. Uh, I think some lightning hit the line. We had to wait for about an hour and it got really hot in here like a sauna. Everyone was moaning. But eventually we started and now we're a little bit delayed. So we're probably going to arrive about 11 instead of 5 I reckon. Immigration was easy. They only asked a few questions really. Um, had a look at the top of my bag. It's not going to go through a whole bag. The other guys in the cabin had to show more stuff from their bags I guess because it was easier to get into the bags. They asked, have you been to Armenia? I said yes. And they said, how long for? And then they asked for tourism. I said yes. And that was it. But they didn't ask mine, so it was super easy. And there wasn't any problems like we thought it might be. So it was good. I slept fairly well actually for sleeping on a train however I slept on my right side the whole night because if I slept on my left side I would roll into the wall because there was a big lean on my bed on all the bunks actually but I slept very, fairly well and we're eating breakfast look we've got sponge cake with lemon flavour I can't taste the lemon can you? I think it's vanilla flavour yes yeah, vanilla flavour I'm wrong actually yes vanilla flavour tastes like vanilla I was completely wrong there Anyway, we're on our way to Baku. We still have some news for you to tell you at the end of this video, so hold on tight, don't stop watching. Just a minute, we're nearly there, we're nearly riding at Baku city centre and we're going to walk about 1.8 kilometres to our Airbnb and we are going to see you there in 3, 2, 1. Alright, here we are in our Airbnb in Baku. We've got lunch and we've got Iran. Remember in Turkey we drank a lot of Iran? Well, it is some more Iran. Yes, it's delicious. Enjoy. Turkish kebab. Turkish kebab. We're going to eat and I don't think we're going to do anything today, maybe we'll work a little bit. Relax, and um, that's about it really, I think. So we'll see you guys whenever we possibly venture outside. Maybe tonight we'll go out a little bit. So see you later. All right, guys, nice to see you again. I think it's been quite a few days since we last spoke to you. We have been here for a few days, just editing and working and checking out some sites. And yeah, it's really nice. We haven't checked out many sites at all because we were here last year, exactly a year ago. And we did a video about it, which you, can see which side of me in up the here somewhere up here somewhere and we can link it in the description as well surprise surprise this is the last episode of series two why so if you have watched the introduction to our video you know that it says we're hitchhiking from turkey to kyrgyzstan but we are in baku azerbaijan and that's about halfway and we're not in kyrgyzstan so we have bought a flight but where are we going to? Drum roll, please. Kuala Lumpur. Mm. <gasps> Southeast Asia. And why? Why are we cutting this journey short? Well, many reasons, really. Uh, we already did this trip of an opposite direction last year, as you know, if you've watched series one, and if you haven't, check it out. Much longer trip. Yes, we hitchhiked from Thailand to Spain, 23,000 kilometers, so it was a long way. And this year it's been extremely hot in the Caucasus and we just don't have the energy to do it. There's something wrong with us. I don't know if something wrong with us. We were in the UK for seven months and I have talked about this in previous videos, not for a while though, about my anxiety and depression, if you like. Um, I haven't gone into detail about that, but I don't think I was mentally as strong when we started this journey as I was when we did it last year. That also might have added to my feelings, 
but the heat definitely did not help. Yeah, maybe we just stayed around the Caucasus for too long, hoping for it to be absolutely super great, but it really wasn't. Mm -hmm. We had an awesome time in Turkey. Guys, go to Turkey. Hitchhike in Turkey. Yes. Really, do it. Easy to hitchhike here too. Armenia was really nice, but we have just not felt very well mm. like about this whole journey lately. Or I haven't anyway, have you? No, and we're, <laughs> we're both super out of shape as well. We're just lazy bastards. Yeah, we? that's another thing we need to start taking care of ourselves because you might think that we're hitchhiking and we're walking a lot and we're getting a lot of exercise. We did talk about this in series one as well, but we don't really because we're in countries where it takes a couple of minutes to get picked up and then you're on the road and you we don't keep a very good diet. We're not super unhealthy, but it's just difficult to get a good routine. So lately we've stayed in a lot of Airbnbs, which hasn't helped me. It made me a little bit more anxious and I don't know, it doesn't feel right. So we have to do something. We bought flights to Kuala Lumpur and we're gonna do something completely different to what we've done up until now. Which you won't find out about yet. So you'll have to follow us in our next episodes for that. Well, it's not gonna be the episode of this series though. No, it'll be series, vlogs, I don't know what it's gonna be called yet. Well, we're gonna change the format a little bit. We've done two hitchhiking series. So our upcoming videos will probably be more vloggy style. If I can say vloggy, I don't know, I'm gonna go with it. Vloggy style, if you like. Vlog number one will start here in Baku going to the airport and heading towards Kuala Lumpur. So you've got something to look forward to. Let's see if we can do this like vlog thing because we're not very good at speaking in front of the camera in this way and planning our episodes but we would have to plan our episodes then which is interesting this is a lot of jibber jabber yeah, so, blah 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 so, so we're gonna cut to the chase we're gonna go out now and film a little bit and that's it and then we'll see you in our new series vlog whatever we're gonna call it whatever it's gonna be it's a last night in Baku it's a last night in Azerbaijan it's a last night in the Caucasus and it's the last night of filming series two. But don't cry, don't be sad, don't worry, you will see us in an upcoming adventure where we will be vlogging. We will still be hitchhiking though a little bit I think, but not as much. So if you guys have enjoyed series two, please give us a thumbs up, comment because it really does help actually, share and subscribe if you haven't already. So we're going to show you what it looks like down here by the sea during the night and during the day. So check it out guys and we will see you next time. Bye bye. Bye. Traveling is not about the destination, but about the journey and all the amazing people you meet on the way. If you reject the food, ignore the customs, fear the religion and avoid the people, you might as well stay at home. Thanks for watching guys! Don't forget to give the video a thumbs up comment and most importantly subscribe and don't forget to turn on those notifications